Y'all come on in my new pen. We're back working on our cattle working facility. The lane's done, the bud box is done. We're gonna start building out some pens and also some pens outside. So what we're gonna do right here is start making an area to catch and house the cows. Today, we're gonna get the gate hung first and maybe drive some posts. Think we'll get some posts driven. Maybe if you got some help. Can I help you with anything? Get anything for you? You need, you need any sweet tea or what you need? You need me to hit record for you? Y'all know the drill. You look like you're dressed for Antarctica. It's cold. It looks like it's warm, but it's not. I just went about yeah. 15 feet past where I needed to go. Okay. Let's get going. What do you think? Looks like it was made to go there. That's pretty good measurement there. What's a measurement? That's a uh, extended measurement. Extended measurement. Fair enough. Bubba used to work for me. Bubba would always say, I'm gonna go over run over there and get me a measurement. And, you know, I knew the drill. I knew what Bubba was doing. Look at where Bubba is now. How many teeth y'all think Bubba has? Hey, Bubba was a good man. We got us some gates. Eric's got a four foot prefert. Four. We've got two eight foot prefurts here. And then the 16 foot big boys. We just hauled these back from Birmingham. <laughs> just kidding, they were on the flatbed. We just hauled them around here so we didn't have to bring the flatbed back here. But the two uh, 16 footers are going over here. The four footer is going down there. We're undecided if we're gonna put another gate here or not, but. One little piece of advice, we're putting metal plates on the wood, six by sixes, and then welding to it. It gets hot, so keep you some water, put it on that wood periodically, just to keep it from catching on fire. Even though it's cold out here, that stuff could catch on fire. With the wind blowing, you never know. With the math that I've done, we want about six feet of our post sticking up out of the ground. We're putting the six bar panels about a foot off the ground. They're about four feet. And then we're doing our top piece on top of the saddle calf about a foot above that. So I'm coming up with six feet needs to be out of the ground. That's to the very top of our post. These here are 32 feet long. There's gonna be a little bit of waste. One thing we've run into, they have these pieces on the end here. Our saddle cap won't fit on top of here. It's, it's not fit for this size, it's fit for the uh, two and uh i think these are two and five eighths you don't want to drive this in the ground because your hole will be this big going all the way down and so this part won't be as tight so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut those off we don't want those on there same on this other end they're flared out a little bit with a bell you can see right here it's flared out a little bit and then we have the threads so I'm gonna come back right in here and cut it because again, the saddle cap won't go on top, but I don't want that end in the ground either. I've decided rather than get the torch out, cut it, and have just a little bit of a jagged cut, I'm gonna use our Dewalt chop saw. It's got a metal blade on it. So we'll set it up and cut these that way. I'd like to get some precise cuts on it, uh, make it easier to put the saddle cap on top of it. Well, I've been cutting post. Eric's getting gate number two hung. 
There she is. Redneck welding's getting a little better. We actually got it where we can do uh, 70, 18 vertical. So we've mostly been using 6011 rods. Pretty good. Let's see here. This gate's much heavier than our other 10 and 12 footers, so we want the best welds we can get. You where I can use that 7018. That's a 70,000 pound rod versus 60,000. I'm definitely no welder. But when I'm starting off, it's hard to get that 7018. You can't you can't weld vertical down, it'll outrun you. You have to weld vertical up, or I do. It worked for me. Vertical up, I actually run a little over 100 amps. And uh, you gotta move on pretty good. But you uh, still gotta go slow enough where you don't have undercut. But we're getting there. If you got any welding tips? Hit us up in the comments, you know, because we're definitely beginners. Yeah. Don't quit your day job. Ready to weld? Should have put a gate right there. No. Y'all gonna remind him over the years, I'm purposely gonna climb over this multiple times because we should have put a gate right here. I actually should have put a gate right there. With this being a heavy crowding point, we decided not to put a gate there. So our gate is gonna be right over here. Can also lead to future pins. Was this necessary? I mean, we've got 20 feet, 20, and we've got four inches of cow poop, and you see where he put my jack stand. Yep. So we've made it around. We've got to finish a little bit of metal and putting some metal in our corners like you see here. We're about to get a gate hung up, finish this out with panels and then close in this little section here with gates and probably a small panel. So I ran a little bit short on lag, but I can show you I'm finishing out the panel inside the barn. This is just about a 10 foot section. So I've got a few of these clamps with lags in them come down here. So I'm putting them where they cover that edge completely. So the edges are a little bit sharp. So our gate here, we're gonna mount it on this post here. So it can swing 180 degrees. We wanna bring some cows in this way or once we work them, get them out of the squeeze chute, we can send them back out in that pen if we want to. Eric's out here making some progress. The gate's hung up. He's getting this other panel going. So we've got to bring the panels on out to here and the bulk of this part will be done. These cows are just itching to try out this catch lot. These clamps, these are, these are made by Wilton put a link uh, to the vi on the video below to these but that's your best friend on welding these panels up. One of my buddies did it used a big pair of channel locks that requires two people. These things are a lifesaver. The package I bought online I think it came with four clamps different sizes. The two bigger ones we use the most but you still you can still use the small one as you see to hold something that's it's not out too far, but these things are really a trick. Wilton. Got an arrow going down here. Do what? That air's going downhill. What? Water run out of that. Which one? 
one's going downhill. Y'all watch, y'all watch this. Watch this lag. He's going down hills because I didn't have anybody spotting me. They ain't no count. It never has been his fault. Finally catching on. Man! That's right where it needed to be. Hmm. Put the level on that and see how it works out. Don't get me out there critiquing your welding. I put the level on that. The barn is leaning is what the problem is. Barn's leaning. Yeah. That's level. The barn's just mud. You would have made an amazing lawyer. Well, thank you. Look, it won't even go up because it's a crooked. This one's just too tight. Is it? See? Is that where we want it? How old are you? 34. It's never too late for law school. I'm just glad we aren't getting paid to do somebody else's barn. They couldn't afford me. I couldn't afford to have all these mistakes. <laughs> Not funny. Why don't you get back to welding and leave the comedian word to others? Don't forget that nut right there is loose. Yeah, I'm gonna get a, a different one. Does that look level enough? You want me to... I mean, if, you know, if at any point you want to re-drill, that's fine, but... Is it hanging? Does for, it work? For now. Does it work? Uh, <laughs> has yet to be determined. Twitchy hollering. Woo! Sushi tonight. Y'all check out this get up. It's my collar flip. Y'all feel sorry for his wife too. Here's our new pin we've got set up. We've got a 16 foot gate on this end, four foot gate right here. So this is basically where we'll bring cows and calves into. We can do some sorting in here. You can make this into two pins if you want to. We hung the 16 foot gate right here in the middle. If you want to push the cows or calves down there, that's the entrance to our bud box. So basically this will just be a way to move cows around barn once we catch them get them to our alley we decided to not have a corner on this end you can see we went with 45s it's kind of a pain in the butt to do to be honest if we went back i don't know if we would do it the same mm -mm. um we're, we're going to finish we're going to put sheet metal all the way up to the top just to cover up these wells but this gives you a pretty good idea of what we'll be working with um, eric did all of our welding did a dang good job Ooh. Eric did a pretty good job. There you go. Eric welded it up. It's not holding cows yet. Uh, one thing we did, as you can see, I say we, Eric, uh, those clamps that we're using on the wooden post, periodically, Eric would put one of those on some of these metal posts. Gives you a little bit more welding area to really hold those to the post. But we really like those. The 45 right here is a good idea. It's a lot of work. I mean, it's probably not a lot of work for somebody that knows metal working, but for us, it was just a time-consuming deal. But now that it's done, you know, if anybody's watching this that doesn't have a lot of experience with cows, if you run, if you, if this were a 90, every time you're trying to get cows in this gate, they're gonna run over here and stick their head in a corner. So this is this is just a purpose to keep them flowing, keep that head turning, flowing through that curve into the barn. So. It's done now, I'm glad we did it. Just adds adds some work, it's, it's not a big deal. We didn't want to put a gate on this end because it's a heavy crowding area. I did. But we plan on, yeah, Eric wanted a gate down there. I'll probably hear for the rest of my life that we needed a gate on that corner that we go to nothing. Let me show y'all this. If we just put a little gate right there, 
you know, we're coming in from here all the time. All this jazz right here is going to move. Probably be a side shed eventually. It would be so nice just to do, 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 walk and go right through here. But instead, I got to do, 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 go over here and come through this gate. Anyway, keep going. You done? For right now. We're going to go back and either hang some sheet metal or some type of material to basically black this out. So once the cows get in here, they're going to want to go straight to our bud box. Farm budget sheet metal equals plastic yeah have you priced sheet metal lately Ooh, it's high low. you have to trade one of your kids thank y'all for watching our video don't know what's next on the cattle are we going to work on the inside pins or are we going to do our catch light out front uh inside pins and the front gates inside pins and front gates uh that way when we run them through the squeeze chute once we turn them out if we still want to have them caught they'll be caught so that'll be next on our agenda because technically if we have to we can set the raw hide up right out there y'all like how i like doing this finger pointing stuff set that raw hide up right out there and catch them and bring them into our lane one more thing before we go click that subscribe button y'all have a good one it's it's right over in here somewhere in one of those corners.